Hello, welcome to New York City to the latest stage of New York Climate Week. Well, President Trump uh, on Tuesday came here and uh, said in his rambling 52 minute speech uh, that actually climate change is the greatest con job ever, his words. Uh, he talked about the global warming hoax. So firing up everyone here is the science and the science has been made even more uh, evident and even more illuminated, even more profound by new data which has been produced today as part of the planetary health check by Professor Johan Rockström, who's the director of the Potsdam Institute for Climate Change, a scion of uh, uh, excellence in the science of what is happening in climate and the kind of reasons there are for us to be so worried and for so many people here, tens of thousands of people meeting to discuss and find ways forward on climate. Let me quote Professor Rockstrom. We are on a very dangerous path now to disaster. 3.1 degrees, that's how much the temperature has risen in the last 75 years. We're on a very narrow path, as you put it. We're pushing us away from where we need to be. And uh, on our watch, uh, we are uh, watching a state of danger emerge. A state of danger which may become and seems likely to become irreversible. And what has happened is that they have announced today that out of nine uh, planetary boundaries, a seventh has been crossed. This time last year, it was six. Now a seventh has been crossed, and that is acidification and uh, the abuse of the ocean. 97% of the planet is covered with water. So this is a profound revelation about how dangerous things have become. We are now, uh, as according to Professor Rockstrom, uh, out of or about to leave the safe operating space for what is uh, happening with the climate. Let me give you a little more detail. Once again, the recent century has seen temperatures rise, which we all know about, of course. On the top right of this uh, big graph are the looming temperatures. I'll say that again, the looming temperatures potentially uh, over the next few years rising up to a potentially devastating four degrees. That's four degrees warmer than we have at the moment. No one knows that's gonna happen, but that's the way it's looking because of this abuse of the planetary boundary uh, uh, changes, which uh, have uh, been uh, highlighted in, in this new report. The risk of climate tipping points is rising rapidly as the world heats up. And just on the lower left-hand side, you can see the uh, several of the tipping points, Atlantic current collapse, northern forests dying back, East Antarctic glacier, the Amazon rainforest, and the northern permafrost. Number seven, which has now been crossed, is ocean acidification, where the boundary has now been breached. A boundary being breached means it's very difficult to push everything back through that boundary. There is a dangerous deoxygenation, as uh, Professor Roxburgh put it, and other chemical reactions. We all know uh, the dangers we're seeing now with plastics uh, inside the bodies of fish and mollusks and so on. Even more worrying is the impact on private personal health. That's something which is now broadening the definition of uh, planetary boundaries and tipping points. The fact that we as human beings are shown that we're reaching the limits of what we can put up with, what we can endure, what we can resist when it comes to temperatures and also the impact on our bodies. Um, our health as humans is living, is now under real threat because of climate change. So to put it bluntly, I wonder what uh, President Trump and his advisors are reading and looking at because this is clear evidence. It isn't, hasn't been distorted. It's clear evidence produced by scientists in a reputable scientific establishment showing that boundary changes are being crossed and uh, tipping points are being crossed as well and it, everything is now going in the wrong direction and that's why all of us are gathered here in New York.